just about to go. The fleet is up and falling a long way away from the line at this stage. Someone looks like they're going to try a port ender. It's Josie Glidden. She's going the port ender. I think she might have pulled it off too. She's going to at least take a couple of bows. Very brave in this condition. To Josie, very brave move there. A nice little cut down rig as she's heading over to the right hand side of the course. Just crossed behind Arno, Sarah Fargus and Stevie Thomas is coming over to this right hand gate. Oh, Outridge just had a massive loss. I think he's lost his rig. Yes, he has. His rig's come down. Something broke there again on Outridge's boat. Kiwi Pete Burling just coming through as well. Out of control. We're these guys are the best of the best and they can't handle these conditions. Just trying to survive. There's rescue boats out here everywhere. Oh, Peter again gets thrown over the back of the boat. Fabio Mazzetti just coming in and around now. Very, very fast. Oh, nosedive gone. Nosedive in behind as well, gone. It's Ian Jensen over the finish line for a win. He has destroyed this fleet. Next boat is a long way away at this stage. Scott Babbage gets it, oh, Stevie Thomas took it off him. Good finish there between the two Aussies. Great job here by the girls. Beautiful little cut down sail and mast that she's running here today. Got the pink moth on the top, she's happy. She's negotiated, well done Josie. Give us a wave, you beauty. Rob Greenhouse pushing up about, oh, probably 50 metres from this pin end. Like so Josh McKnight's in the middle of the course, and we're off and racing. Clean start. Rob Greenhouse has a nice start, nice clean air. Patrick just coming into the line now. He's done a great job. He's led almost from start to finish. And there it is, a big win. And he's quite happy, very stoked is the Rory Fitzpatrick from Ireland. Tom Burton coming over the line now, taking second spot. And he's happy with that. So yeah, I've had a bit of an up and down series so far. Um, again today, won the first race and had a breakage and uh, broke my mast, so I got a DNF, but the beauty of the moth scoring system is if you get one lap in, um, at least you'll get the first person who does you know, a lap down. So I got a 24 and that was enough to scrape into Goldfleet. So uh, middle of Goldfleet now, when with only four races complete, uh, you know, we're into Goldfleet tomorrow. Yeah, no, I think there's, there's going to be fun, the, uh, the finals race, and obviously it all starts again with there being four fleets, all the points are still pretty close, even though you got a lot of firsts on the boards, it's still quite tight and it's all going to come down to the, uh, to the golf fleet racing. It could actually come down to how good you, uh, you tie off your little... Uh, I've got two stitches in there. Two stitches in. <laughs> and, only... and I've still got my shorts not stitched to the sail, that's going to be the main thing. And he's only been here for an hour and a half, so he's going really well. All right, Paul, thanks for your time, mate. We know you're flat out because your uh, shore crew's not helping you, so I'm not going to shake your hand because you've got a needle in it. Yes, I will. Mate, good luck for the uh, next couple of days.